Hello, my name is Jim Park. Today's video is part of the video series covering four key components of digital culture. Today we'll cover self freezing, uh, which is actually a very important foundational part of any cell based research. Cell lines, also immortalized, have limited passage numbers before their genetic perturbation, which gives them immortality, causes them to change. For this reason, it is important to make frozen stocks often during the early passages. So how do we do this? To get started, always wear proper protection equipment to protect yourself from risk associated with mammalian cell culture and handling liquid nitrogen specifically. Cells are stored in freezing media. Commercial products such as Cryostar are available or the solution can be made using 90 to 10 mixture of sera and dimethyl sulfur oxide, commonly known as DMSO. DMSO is a cryoprotectant compound that readily diffuses through skin. Please review relevant MSDS for proper handling and safety information. Cryostar is an animal component-free reagent available in three different formats based on DMSO concentration. Freezing media should be chilled prior to use. To minimize cell exposure to DMSO at room temperature, it is a good idea to label the cryo storage tube before starting. Include the cell type, passage number, date of freeze, and cell concentration. Also prepare an appropriate freezing container with right volume of isopropanol. This device is used to transition cells to freezing. It permits a slow, steady reduction in temperature, one degree Celsius per minute, thus minimizing cell damage during the processes. For best results, cells should be growing in exponential phase and not overly crowded or confluent. The general procedure for adherent and suspension cell is the same, except adherent cell must first be detached from their flask. To do this, aspirate media, wash cells with PBS, add trypsin, and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius to detach. If necessary, flask can be tapped to fully dislodge cells. Deactivate the trypsin and resuspend the cells in culture media, then transfer to a 15 milliliter conical tube. Take a small aliquot for count or count plus viability assessment using the septor cell counter or millicell disposable hemocytometer, respectively. Optimal cell concentration for freezing depends on cell type but a good starting reference is about 1 to 2 million per milliliter. Cells should be at greater than 90% viability at the time of freezing. Pellet cells by centrifugation. Carefully aspirate media without disturbing pellet. Gently but thoroughly resuspend pellet in appropriate volume of chilled freezing media and transfer 1 ml aliquots to pre-labeled cryovials. Transfer tubes to the freezing container and place the device in minus 80 degrees Celsius freezer overnight. Next day, Quickly transfer cells into liquid nitrogen for permanent storage. <music> 